Season 6 update added a bunch of new camos into the game. We've already unlocked a few of them, but there are some we're missing. Some of them look pretty good, but one of them looks amazing, and I highly recommend getting this camo. It's actually not that hard to get either, so that's what we're going to be grinding out in this video, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Let's roll in. Oh, um... All right, hello there. So first thing first, we got to level up the brand new SMG, which I say new SMG. This is the ISO 45, but chambered in nine millimeter. But there are a few really cool camos we're able to unlock by leveling this up and doing some challenges. So yay, weapon XP grind. Okay, I, I might have to take this camo off. I like it, but it's like annoyingly bright. Like this is just, sometimes there's just something is too much and this might be too much. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Hi there. Oh, well, can't hit my shots at range with this. Oh, level two, baby. All that work for one level. This doesn't even look like the same weapon and camo, but yes, this is the same weapon we were using, same camo. All we did was change the blueprint and somehow it looks completely different. You know what? Before I forget, um, we can actually use double weapon XP tokens to make this a little bit quicker. Let's pop an hour. One of those, one of those. Now nah, we're cooking with fire. Oh, 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 hi, Graves. Before... No, 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 but oh. he's still there, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, my mag. My mag is bubbling. Well, it's evolving. <laughs> the inspect on these melee weapons are wild. It just it just keeps going. Right? You think it's over? Nope. Nope. He flips it again, flips it again. And, and now it's over. I think this might be one of the longest weapon inspects in the entire game. You know, this is a very long sight map. Probably not the best to run around with this SMG. But, uh, you know, now is not the time we start making smart decisions in our life. Dude, I need a bigger mag on this. Level three. Look at those, those double XP tokens kicking in, baby. Oh. Mm. Sorry, ghost. Oh, oh, there's footsteps. Oh, oh, don't look this way. Don't look this way. Don't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not. Okay, I'm not getting rain shots with this. Not saying it can't be done. I just don't have the skill. Sorry, ghost. Not again. But I'm five points off. If I don't get this advanced, we could play this like a real classy move. Do what I like to call the sit and wait. Whew. You know, I'm not proud of what we did, but I would do it again. Oh, we got ammo again. No, no. Well, you know, we kind of deserve that. We, we, we kind of deserve that. We did sit and wait in a corner to get a kill with a melee weapon. But I wanted the advance, baby. Oh, I can't. No, oh, this gun is not good at range. This guy's speaking to me in code. Uh-huh. Dude, just, just one day, I want to wake up and have good mics. I, I want to hear good mics in game, bro. Oh. Dude, I'm so glad I can hear the, the game audio through his headset too, because hearing it through my own headset wasn't enough. Now I got double the comms, bro. This is perfect. This is what I've always wanted. This video was brought to you by Gamer Advantage. I've been using Gamer Advantage glasses for a few months now, and I've only got good things to say about them. They're super lightweight, flexible, and feel amazing under headsets. They have special lens technology that helps you focus and blocks blue light so you can sleep easier at night. On top of all this, I just think they look great, and there's tons of different options to pick from. The most common question I get is, are these glasses prescription? And yes, mine are, but there's also non-prescription versions as well. So do me a favor and check out Gamer Advantage using the link below, and if you find something you like use code unlock to unlock a 10 percent discount now back to the video there's also a see-through version of this weapon you get with the black cell battle pass just like the tac 45 that came the with the last black cell battle pass oh uh, yeah you can see all the inner workings all the springs and stuff however you can see it best without a camo on so now now we're rocking with no camo oh there's a lot of p and a shotgun dude i'm gonna miss this map so much when modern warfare 3 comes out this was definitely the uh the best map in this game got him Dude, they're all just sitting back. No, oh, he, that guy's driving right now. What the? Bro's in the middle of the highway playing some COD. I'm hoping once I get this leveled up and I can put my own attachments on it, we can make a little bit better of a build. Because I'm not a big fan of all these red dots. But every blueprint I own has, has a nice little red dot on an SMG. Level 10. Dude, oh my. Oh my. 
Yeah, I like these new maps. I just don't like using SNGs on them. I way prefer ARs on both the new maps. Dude, this thing is a P shoot. Uh, I wish it shot P's. It'd probably do more damage. Oh, digital boulder unlocked. There was our first of many camos. Here's the digital boulder camo we unlocked, and it's it's mid. It's mid AF. But there are way better camos coming down the line. We just got to get there. The next camo, we've got to get hip fire kills. So, so no more aiming for us. No ADS, no ADS, no ADS. As far as I'm concerned, this is CSGO. You know, a game that was made before iron sights were invented. You know, out of all the maps for me to start hip firing on, this is probably one of the worst. This is one of the bigger maps in this game, but this is the one we're going for hip fires on. Oh, that's too far. There's three. I don't have enough bolts for this. Oh, level 12. Actually, I think we just unlocked the 50 round mag, which, oh, we did. That is going to help a ton. Okay, so attachments, magazine, 50 round on that bad boy. Oh, you still run pretty fast with this. Ooh. Oh, no ADS needed. No ADS needed. Those were both headshots, too. Nice little double piece. Level 13. Now we can tune the weapon. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Foundation unlocked. Here's the foundation camo. Still pretty mid, but at least it's better than the last camo. The better camos are still to come. Trust me, there are some good camos this time. We just, we got to get there. Luckily, we can now ADS and we've got to get double kills. So no more hit fire for us. There's one. Come on, I need a second one. Oh, he's up on the rooftop. Of course he is. One. Where's your teammates? Oh, they're still on the rooftop. No, no. One. Two, we dive, doesn't matter. Got the double. Oh, this is an enemy base. They're all over. Oh, another double. That was a quad. That, oh, well, that was a times five. I need double kills, not quad kills. That's six time multi kill. I got I gotta space these out a little bit. I think that only counted as one. Even though that was a six times multi kill, a super kill, uh, that was that only counted as one double kill. We're overachieving, suffering from success. Okay, there's another one. Oh, another one. Oh, there's a cat up top. Oh. Not expect for there to be a cat on this roof. Oh, wait, we unlocked the camo. It just didn't pop up. Oh, we're getting double kills for nothing. Okay, now the camos are starting to pick up a little bit. This is the snow tiger camo we just unlocked. Once again, not an amazing camo, but way better than the last two. The next camo we're going to get is the really good one. And for that, we've got to get point blank kills. Meaning we're pretty much back to hip firing. All right. No, <laughs> oh, that's not point blank. Actually, why would I even try for point blanks on this map? There's not even, no, there's not even a point. Not a point blank. Oh, oh, oh. Could have got a finisher on that dude, but um, point blank more important. Hello there. Oh, there's another guy back. No! You know what was shooting at me? Wasn't even shooting at me. Fucking weave. There's a point blank. Oh, nice little double. I don't even know where he's at. Luckily, we got 50 bullets. That's too many enemies. Whew. Oh, please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. I really need to get right up behind you and just blast you, bud. And someone else took it. Dude, I was right behind him, too. Oh. Right on top of Laura. And we're dead. Oh, there we go. Neon Peaks unlocked. Now, this is a good looking camo. This is the Neon Peaks camo we just unlocked and definitely one of the best camos they added this season. There's a lot of blueprints. This is going to look fire on. Covers the entire gun. Got Neon Peaks on. I mean, this is probably one of the better camos we've got in Modern Warfare 2, period, when it comes to leveling up weapons. Now, uh, we got to get this bad boy gold, meaning we got to get three kills out dying 10 times. And we do have more camos to unlock because we've also got this bad boy right here which also comes with a pretty good camo as well. All right, there's one. No! Or had the shoddy on deck. Whoa, whoa. He came through a closed door. Dude, I hate riot shields. Oh, 
Okay, this is what the camo looks like on the see-through blueprint. I really like this combination. I love this neon camo, and now I just it just it adds more to it. I do not like the way this iron sight looks, so that is that's too far out for me. Oh, your gun gave you away, buddy. Oh, I need a place to hide. Oh yeah, back here. This is the safest place on the entire map. Normally, when we grind these camos for the DLC weapons, I don't find myself using them that much after, but this is one of the camos I legitimately see myself using after this. Yeah, you know, I am so glad I backed myself in this. Dude, I'm so glad. This was such a smart decision, Lego. Everyone knows when you're trying to get three kills without dying, you back yourself into a corner that has no exit. That's the biggest strategy. Like, that's Pub Stompers hate me because I'm sharing this one secret trick. Is this another dead dude? Original COD format just has so many areas with dead ends for no reason. All right, let's go. Let's go. About to get two. Three kills out dying, one life. X ray down. Oh, did you? There's two dudes up in a building. Two dudes up in a building and they got trip mines. It's okay, Lego, calm down. Maybe they're going for long shots. Maybe they have a good reason to be up there chilling, all right? There's always a good explanation for everything. Let me guess, they're still up. The oh my. Okay, well, the, the landmine's gone, but don't worry, they got a suppression mine. That's a teammate. That's not, that's not. Wait, ow! Oh! Dude, they're, they're just buddy systeming in the top of the building. Dude, I'm throwing this nade up there. You guys better like cook nades. Ah, uh, that was too cooked. That was too cooked. I really don't want these kids to win. All they did was sit on top of buildings all game long. I normally don't care about winning, but this time it's different. This time it's per- Like, he's in this- No! Oh, and he's got a trophy. He's got a trophy up there. All they did was sit in buildings. Wait a minute, we unlocked gold. Why did that pop up? There it is. Look at it. The gold camo. The shiny, shiny gold camo. Overall, the gold camo in this game, very, very solid. I wonder what they're going to do for Modern Warfare 3. Like, because gold's pretty standard. I wonder if they're just going to reuse this for the gold camo in Modern Warfare 3 or make a different one. Make it maybe more shiny, a little bit different. Uh, I don't know, but gold's done. And you guys know what comes next. Now we got to get long shots for this, which, yay. Uh, and I don't feel like doing that. So instead, we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to move on to the scythe because this seems like fun. And there's a new camo we can unlock for this. And the camo you get for using the scythe, pretty solid. Although I feel like I'm going to regret this decision in the future because all of the new DLC weapons, I've essentially just been getting to the long shots and then I've just been leaving them. Meaning at some point I'm going to have to go back and get long shots for like nine different weapons all at once because I've been putting off my responsibilities. See, this is what I'm talking about. This camo looks so good on so many weapons. I almost like this better than the glowing camo we were using. This is, this is fire. And now we're going to use it on this while we level it up because yes we're back to leveling up weapons now it's time to take out some aggression we're just gonna start slicing and dicing on shipment we definitely need this after that one super campy match little three piece and the lion's den Honestly, I could just sit here and inspect these weapons all day and be satisfied. I don't even got to slice people with it. Like, you can just play the first part of it. Because it just goes on forever. You look at it. Look at the other one. All right. Cross them together. All right. You throw this one. Yep. Throw this one. Flip it around. Throw that one again. And then you stick them out in the air. Oh, I really hate that they make you max out the melee weapon before you can start grinding camos on it. I liked Vanguard where just right off the get-go, you could start grinding it. But... All, all we kind of do once we get le get leveled up is 50 kills with it and the camo's unlocked. Got him. Oh, you can't run. <gasps> Ooh. Got him. Oh! Dude just jumped on me. Here's someone in the water. All right, let's get the guy in the water. Let's get the guy in the water. Let's get the We're just going to commit. He's not here anymore. Well, if he was there though, we would have got him. Duh. Come on, come on, follow me. No, 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 let me out, let me out. Whoa. That just got oh, handed to me. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Cyber Plateau Unlock. Here's the camo in game. I already forgot the name of it. Unfortunately, the coverage of it on this weapon isn't amazing. So here it is on the tack and pretty decent looking camo. I like this one a lot. Uh, I think the Neon Peaks was better though, but this is the second best camo we've unlocked tonight. Now, we've got to get two kills without dying and we'll get gold on these bad boys. Two kills, one life. How hard could it be? Oh. Oh! My melee's better. My melee's better. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cat. There's a cat. There's a cat. No! 
Just gonna land right up here. Oh, no, nope, we're gonna miss it. All right, we're gonna land up here then. This is where we're gonna showcase the camo. Now we have the golden size unlocked. Once again, it didn't pop up when we got it, but uh, looking nice, looking clean. Um, and yeah, we still got the rest to go, but I'm gonna save Orion for a later date. Uh, long story short, I highly recommend grinding this camo. It's not like it's limited time. You don't have to do it right now. You can grind it whenever you want. But for a camo that's extremely simple to get, this is a thousand percent worth it. All you have to do is unlock the new SMG, pretty much get it to max rank, which is like level 12. It's only got 12 levels. So it takes like one game of shipment. Then you got to get 25 point blank kills. Then you're able to use this camo on every weapon in the entire game. And even weapons with bad camo coverage look good. This weapon right here, normally not the best coverage, but look at it. It covers the entire front of it. Like even no matter what weapon you put this on, I have seen that it covers the entire thing, even the attachment. So super simple to get, thousand percent worth it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, the Modern Warfare 3 camo grind, all that stuff, make sure to unlock that sub button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.